very old phones. Get out of here. We're not gonna talk about you. We're gonna talk about the old iPhones. You know, guys, my first iPhone was the iPhone 5S, and it was, you know, the revolutionary telephone or smartphone or something like that. It was very, very good. First of all, I remember when they gave uh, to the iPhone 5S the Touch ID. That was so, so huge revol tech revolution that ever happened in the world. You know, they bring the, uh, the slow-mo cameras, they bring, they bring, as I told, the Touch ID. But, you know, I bought... Some of you will say that this is the worst iPhone. The iPhone didn't make the worst iPhone ever, except the iPhone 6. That was, you know, the Benji phone. A lot of people will say that this, this iPhone 5C was the worst iPhone ever made. You know, it's plastic, it wasn't uh, that good as the original iPhone 5S. But, in my opinion, it is not bad. This phone almost has 10 years, or maybe it has 10 years, I don't know. I didn't check. Alright guys, we have just launched the iPhone 5C and look at this wallpaper that is very matchable. Wait, this wallpaper very matches to the color uh, of the iPhone C. You know, it's yellow. Yeah, it's yellow. Okay guys, this is how it presents, you know, it's uh, the iOS 10.3.3. This is how the uh, original uh, home screen, um, you know. You can, you can use this phone as a normal phone, not like that, my phone. You can use this, still this phone for calls and checking something on the browser because it still has the 4G power. It still has it. But still, anyways, you, but still, anyways, you can't um, actually um, download a lot of things on the app store because you know uh, this is this way I'm gonna I'm gonna prove it to you I'm going to prove it wait I'm going to prove oh here version here you have version 10.3.3 as I told you can't uh, actually download a lot of stuff stuff I tried to download WhatsApp and it didn't work but eventually I can download Discord and Messenger. They very and they work. They work. And even even Instagram is working here. I don't need those old these old apps. Get out of here. Alright, 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 alright. Right. Yo, uh, this is not the original YouTube. I just I just you know it's from the website. You can paste this uh, link on your home screen. And this is how the YouTube presents on the iPhone 5C. Of course, I didn't have a lot. Or sign in. Okay, accept, accept, all right. And this is how the YouTube somehow works on this iPhone. But it's still better. Oh, you should subscribe to this guy. You should su subscribe to this guy. This is very, 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 a very good YouTuber. But anyways, it somehow works, and it's even better than the, that, and it's even better than the old my phone, cause you know.
you know, if, you know, if talking about an iPhone, it's just look, check this iPhone. Like, this is the camera, and I don't even believe. Wait, I think it has a zoom. I don't remember. Wait, let's check. Let's just check. Oh, it has zoom. It had a zoom. It has a zoom. Very, very good. It has the HDR mode, whatever it that means. But it's the best. The best part is that it has these cool, uh, you know, I don't know how to say it, but the, how the photos will uh, look like, you know, it has very, very good, uh, oh, filters, this is though, I think those are called filters, but they look amazing on the, you know, look at this, look at this process, look at this, I'm gonna take a photo, and look, this is so hot, this photo is like, you know, if you look at this photo, it could be from like 2011 or something like that. Okay, but why people think this is one of the worst iPhones uh, ever made? Because uh, back, back at the old days, when the iPhone 5S was released, it had the Touch ID, it had a slow-mo camera, it had a new Bionic chip and plenty more stuff. And this Nugget phone Sorry, I had to use that. Uh, you can watch my one of my favorite YouTubers. The link is down below. Uh, but anyways, um, anyways, um, the iPhone, the iPhone uh, 5s had a lot of new tech stuff. And comparing to this, as I know from that YouTuber, uh, when I was watching him, you know, the link is down in the uh, descriptions. No, when I got the iPhone 5s, it was very beautiful. You know, the design, the gold one, the gold one was so freaking nice looking phone at the day, at those days. That, wow, I had that iPhone 5s, but I eventually sold it, you know. But still, uh, look at this, look. As the YouTuber down below uh, in the uh, descriptions say, that this C stands for, you know, cheap phone. Cheap phone, you know, not copy. Eventually, the 5C standed for, you know, the 5C color, you know, because there were new um, colors like red, white, green, blue, yellow. All right, so as I heard, the iPhone 5S cost $650 and the iPhone 5C cost around $550 Apple what a shame you you, you know you know if the iPhone 5s had the, the slow-mo camera had the new bionic chip had the touch ID that it uh, didn't appear in the iPhone 5c but still it was $100 ex the iPhone 5s was $100 expensive than the iPhone 5c come on but still, the new phones can be still jealous about the... I think they could be jealous about the headphone jack. Does somebody even use headphone jacks or something? Uh, like, look at this phone. There is no headphone jack in this phone. You can only pair uh, with your headphones with Bluetooth. With Bluetooth. And Samsung was making fun of, of about it. But they eventually also changed their design and they also removed the headphone jack so I don't but, but still this is not like a very cheap plastic that was you know just put on an iPhone like how could even iPhone made a plastic phone it always was like you know the good mat good materials of the phone you know and why did they just you know made it plastic but this is not a not this is not a you know cheap plastic it was very 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 good plastic you know it's very it feels good it's not bad it's not bad this phone is not bad in my opinion you know also the cool features about the iPhones uh, at these uh, also the cool features about the iPhones were that they had the airdrop you know and you can send to one iPhone to the another iPhone uh, you know some photos every you could actually send everything but last time uh, I heard that the iPhone 5c 
I had those very specific, uh, you know, cases for those uh, phones. Like they had those dots, and Apple had made a bigger mistake because you know the dots should be right here. But when the dots, you know, the holes were right here, you could see, you know, the junk what was right here. You could see those letters. You could, you could see, see everything, you know, like maybe not everything, but it not looked very good. You know, the fun fact, like this iPhone has 12 uh, gigabytes of space and, you know, my iPhone uh, 11 has 64 and I almost filled it up with my photos and my junk. And I have, I have a question. I have a, just a little question. How did we survive? How did we survive with this small memory? How did we survive with that kind of capacity of memory, like eight gigabytes, 12 gigabytes? Like, how did we survive?